Oh, the pleasure is mine. Just hearing your background, uh, coming from abroad, from Ghana here, going through your whole education uh, journey, I find that you are the right person to speak to me, to speak to students out there who are making these tough decisions of where to and when to start this journey. So we will go into that, but I'm so privileged that I have your time today. So, um, Kofi, we are here to talk about education. We are here to talk about studying abroad. Could you give me a perspective of where you see the current uh, trends in as far as study abroad? Uh, you are in the industry. What do you think are the key determinants right now for students who are trying to make that decision? That's an excellent question, Stephen. And I think it really comes down to a couple of things. I will name three specifically. And the first is aspects after studying. Now, the study abroad trend has moved more from, you know, having that one or two years international study experience to really what are the prospects of me relocating after I am done with my studies in a different country. And I think this is a trend that a lot of service providers and then also, you know, consulting teams alike are really looking at to be able to see which countries have the most dare I describe them as favorable conditions for students to be able to migrate after they are done studying. I think the next thing is finances, because this is a very important aspect, you know, of what it means to have that international study abroad experience. Mm -hmm. How can I get that Western education I am looking for without breaking the bank? I think this is also another very important aspect of the whole you know, process when it comes to putting together that decision of deciding to move from your home country and to study abroad. And I think the third thing is what, again, are not just my prospects for living in the country, but then also what are my prospects for the labor market? And this is why I think for a lot of students, they are looking for what the safe choices are in terms of what they can study to be able to make that seamless transition from academia and into industry. So it's not just about, again, you know, following your passion, which is always a great thing and which I encourage people to do, but it's also about how do you market yourself education-wise after you have received the education. So I think it's about the prospects of immigrating, um, the possibility of finance, and then finally, also how can you make yourself attractive after your study on the labor market? These mm. are the trends we're noticing today. Keywords. You're looking for that experience, the financial part being so key, 